Hi everyone, it is Fire Guy here and it is the title decider. Spurs versus Aston Villa. Um, there's the lineup I'm going with, same lineup as last time. We've got Al Brighton on the bench for backup. Just haven't got Hellenius, as you probably know through injury. But we've got to win here today. I'm not going to go ultra attacking because Spurs score a goal and that's us probably gone. So we just need to, I was going to go ultra defensive but I'm not because look, this is what Spurs can create and we're already behind guys. Gareth Bale's still playing for Spurs and there you go, 24 goals. He's definitely above Benteke's talent. We're already behind and this could go badly wrong guys. So we need to score a goal here. I'm going to go ultra attacking and I've just given it away. What am I doing? Right, here we go, Benteke. We just need to go all out. We need to do what we can and come back, really. A draw isn't good enough. We need the win. And we're going to have a hard task of doing that now. And it's quite a shady pitch. I'm not used to this. Uh, that's no excuse, though, for falling behind. I just don't want to lose here today, guys. I really don't. And we're already behind. I mean, I, I couldn't do much about that goal really if I'm honest there was just nothing I could really do um, I didn't think it'd go in really I thought it'd maybe miss the player but we need to score we need to score now and what, what's happening here this is the play that probably Spurs have been doing all season to win the matches I mean they're testing us a lot so far and we're just getting outdone here I can't play though with this, these shadows guys, but Bale is through again, what a tackle. Let's get another play given and kick that away. There's Paulinho. We need to get together guys, we need to work as a team and try and do this. And is this the opportunity? Ben Teke, can he end his drought? He's been forced wide now, but the ball in is all that matters. And the ball was good, but no one went to it. Ababo continues his terrible form despite getting a winner last game. Oh no, we've been torn apart again, guys. This is, we can't do anything here today. We just clear it, what we're doing. Right, everybody just stay in for this, what's going to happen here. Right, we need to get this out. I'm, I don't like this pitch, I really don't. I'm just going to have to try and play with it. Okay, isn't so Bill, we all know what he's capable of on the ball. And it, usually, nine times out of ten, it would usually do that. That, prob that was probably just the one time. Oh, I'm just so... Angry, really, guys, but I'm trying to hold it in because that's not what my video is about getting angry, you know. I mean, if you'd like it, you know, I'd do that, but they're about, you know, staying calm a bit. I mean, it's only a game at the end of the day. And there's El, El Hamadeh. Can he get his first goal for the club? Now, a lot of my players have been missing these opportunities, but El Hamadeh has brought it back. They're still above us by a point, Spurs. But we're back in the game and we haven't left it till the second half this time, which is what we've done for the past three games now. Come on, let's do this guys. Let's get a win here. It's at Spurs, which also gives them the advantage. Well, here's a Barbo. Could we make things go from bad to worse? What a powerful shot. That's the Barbo I like to see and which we haven't been seeing for the course of this season since it came here in January. Here's Zogbia. Here's Colaccini. What's he doing up here? Oh well. Um, can I really put inside with this player? Oh no, I thought I threaded that through then. And is this just a game of heading? <laughs> that was just like a game of heading then, guys. Here's Bowley though. Cuts inside. Oh no, everybody's missed the header there. You know what went wrong there, both managers would probably scream at the players if that happened in real life. But Bale can't be stopped in these areas most of the time, but we stop him there because of bad, our bad pass. Oh, that's the ball, that's the ball. Bowley has the pace, that's why I knew that was the right ball to play. 
because bowling doesn't miss. And it has today. So one thing about bowling sh is shooting. Okay, who's that too? Who's that too? Right. Next half we won't be in the shadows, which is quite good. Oh man, we just need to score and not concede. There's half time, guys. What could happen here? Remember, if we don't win this and then we mess it up in the FA Cup, things could, can go badly wrong. So, we'll bring on Albrighton, we'll do the usual substitution. We'll bring on Ireland for Johnson and Wyman for Benteke, because he was. I'm tired, so Benteke can't score any more Premier League goals now this season. But he's had a good season despite not having a great last few games. He has had a good season though. We can't go mad at Ben Seke for that. And this is why I brought Al Brighton on. Don't do oh, You probably even heard me on your eyes getting a bit mad. But what can you do when a player does so much and then it's like for your World Cup runs and runs and runs and then does nothing with the ball? Well, you probably disagree with me with that, but. Let's get off the subject of Theo Walcott and let's get playing his bowler. His fitness was an orange, but it's still running City. They're going for that second spot, aren't they? Well, they're trying to keep the pressure on. That's a corner now, I do believe. So let's try and whip this one in. And that's straight to the hands of the goalkeeper, or is it? Or is it? And Colachini. Whoa, that could have dipped the keeper there. And Sirigu will get that. When did Sirigu Sir must have signed for Spurs on this? Because he plays in Italy, I think it is, in real life, right? We ne need to score now, we need to score. What are we doing? What are we doing? Pass the ball. That's a good ball. That's a good ball. What, what are they doing? What are they actually doing? Right, don't miss the pass. That's it. That's it. These are the passes I'm talking about. And this is straight into the hands of Game. I mean, we can't lose the. It's quite clearly a free kick. We might look back at the end of the match at this decision, one way or another. The scores are level, and on he comes to try and tilt the game his team's way. Andreas Weimann. What he's in the team to do to make those tackles. Paulinho. Mark Albright. Good forward play from them. Here's the cross. Here's the volley. Good goal to take the lead here. A joyous moment. It's a brilliant moment. What they're going to do is calm down now and settle and make sure they don't give you anything silly. Well, you can see he looks up, he sees the man in the middle. Boy, does he pick him out well. Well, now it's 2 1. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. It's a chance for a double for the team that are the visiting team today. Had a good win against this side that they're visiting in the uh, other match between the two clubs earlier in the season. But I'm sure the hosts are really determined to uh, uh, get some revenge. Yeah, I'm sure they are. They should be because they didn't play well in that earlier game. But great chance. And it leads to this shot. Well, they're a goal up. Now they've got a corner here. Stretching there, the defender. But he has cleared. Moussa Dembele, up and down the pitch again he goes. Well, if you work as hard as he does, you deserve some luck every now and again. Great opportunity, got to be, and it's in the net for the goal. Well, this is a team and a half, to be honest, and they're running uh, the opposition ragged and a goal to show for it. It's wonderful to see. I mean, they created chances at will, and you don't see that too often. Well, 
it was a marvellous finish, Martin. He's in the right place at the right time there. Wonderful goal. El Ahmedi in quickly. That's a decent challenge by the opponent. That's very good skill. He's made the defender look a bit awkward there. And that cross hit with a volley here. Still trying to get themselves back into the game. Credit for that, but not for their shooting. Well, what will this mean for the team? They're going to bring two new players on. Talking of the home team selection problems, there are three probable starters who aren't available to the manager today because of injuries. Yeah, part and parcel of being a manager, isn't it? And uh, having to cope with it and using your squad. That's why you try and build a good squad. Andros Townsend. Good, clean tackle. This is the chance. Here's the shot. They're still trying to increase this lead. fantastic they've won the league title and look at the scenes of celebrations wonderful moments for these players they'll remember all their lives well they will you're quite right martin they are sweet sweet moments and you've just got to drink it all in because you never quite know when it's going to come round again so uh, you can understand the jubilation out there they thoroughly deserve what they've achieved well that's it for this game that's it for this season, and that's pretty much for you and me. Enjoyed it, mate. As always, Martin, they seem to go quicker and quicker. I can't believe it's been about nine months since that first ball was kicked. Some silverware. So, um, might get that in a minute. We might get that when we're presented with the trophy. So, yeah, we're ready for, uh, well, our next game. Insta Arsenal. Oh, I know why it's not come up, guys. We've got notifications off. But I'm just going to go and double check here. Um, FIFA 14. There we go. Win a trophy as a team manager in career. You probably didn't know that I already didn't have that, but oh well. We've managed to do it. Um, and yeah, guys, we've won the league, but we've got that FA Cup final to focus on now. So hopefully, we can all win that. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, and I will see you all in the next video.